and 200 even $500 isn't out of the question when you get into that final manic uh, bubble phase. Sil silver can go up 100% in six weeks during that final phase. You actually recently reported how you are starting uh, this year cautiously optimistic or cautiously bullish on gold right now. What is gold telling you technically? Well, it's up in the air a little bit. Um, there, there's a, several resistance levels that we have to get through. The first one is uh, that eight, 1835. It was kind of a triple top several months ago. And we briefly broke out of it, but uh, it was late in the intermediate cycle. Breakouts that occur late in the cycle generally don't produce sustained moves, and that's what happened to gold. And then we uh, dropped back below that 1835 and <clears throat> dropped down into what might potentially be kind of a shallow intermediate cycle low. Uh, we tested that 835 the other day, and uh, and it got rejected yesterday. Um, but we're tr you know trying to come back again today. So I think a lot of it just depends on what the currencies do. The, the dollar is um, way overdue for an intermediate decline, but you know the the ongoing currency wars. The ECB would like to keep the euro suppressed against the dollar, keep the dollar propped up. So I really have no idea whether the dollar will. It kind of looks like it's hit a resistance zone here and it's struggling. Um, if the dollar does turn back down, then, then you know, it's going to be a lot harder to keep gold suppressed. So at that point, if gold could get above 1835, I would start to get a little more bullish. And then if it can get above, I believe it's 1880, that's, that's that looks like the um, prior intermediate top. If it could get above that, then it would get really bullish. And, uh, and then a move above 1920, and I would be on board with To The Moon, just like all the other gold analysts. But um, got to get got to get through 1835 first. And I think the dollar has to give us some indication that it's ready to finally move down into an intermediate cycle low. Now, I know a lot of people are quite bullish this month and this year in precious metals, but... I mean, you mentioned how you're how you're cautious, and I mean, I believe we've t spoken before, and how you're saying it could we could just see a lot of consolidation this year. Uh, very possible. If the dollar continues to rally, then I, I think gold is probably going to stay stuck in this difficult sideways back and forth market. The the one bullish thing I, I noticed just looking at some long term charts the other day. The one bullish thing is is the dollar's been rallying pretty strongly. But gold has mostly just been going sideways, which is, you know, a big improvement. You most of the time, if the dollar's rallying strongly, then gold is falling strongly, and it hasn't been doing that. It's been mostly just going sideways, so that's an improvement. So, I think it's set up and ready to go if the dollar will just turn back down. When it comes to gold versus silver, do you see silver performing pretty much the same in 2020 as gold? Well, it'll follow gold. Um, you know, silver tends to follow gold and magnify the move. So if gold starts to go up, silver will usually go up by a factor of two or three times as much as um, gold does. <clears throat> so just waiting on to, to see what happens with the dollar and whether or not uh, this recent low uh, turns out to be an intermediate cycle low or just a minor daily cycle low that's going to um, not be able to get through that 835 and then, you know, go back down and make a lower low. It's just up in the air right now. I, I wouldn't I want to hazard a guess as to which, which way it's going to go. It can go either way. I think if we do see further consolidation, though, that just presents a buying opportunity, right? And a way to accumulate more because as we've talked about before, I mean, the fundamentals for both gold and silver and especially silver are extremely bullish. Uh, it it does. Um, I, I I think you know if, if we keep going sideways, I think is a perfect opportunity to accumulate. Um, personally, I like silver the best. I've been on record saying that a hundred dollars silver is going to be a piece of cake. Now it's not going to happen next year. Um, it's it's going to be the bull market in the metals is going to last five to eight years. So it'll it'll take a while to get there. But uh, I think. Um, $100 silver was is going to be a piece of cake, just like $10,000 or, or 10000 on the NASDAQ was a piece of cake. I, I said years ago that um, the NASDAQ was definitely going to 10000 and maybe possibly to 20000 And, you know, we're getting pretty close. We we tagged 16000 recently. So $100, $100 silver, you know, anything in this range, any 
anywhere in 20 to $25 range, I think is going to make you a lot of money over the next eight years. Um, and 200, even $500 isn't out of the question when you get into that final manic uh, bubble phase. Sil silver can go up a hundred percent in six weeks during that final phase. So, you know, we could, we could, chug and grind and maybe get to a hundred, $150 in the next five years. And then in the last six weeks, you could go from a hundred dollars to $500. Now for the last year or so, we have been stuck in that kind of 20 to $30 range. Um, do you see silver falling below that range? Again, I think it depends on, on what the dollar does. It, it, this is the opportunity for it to do that. If the dollar continues to rally and doesn't roll over, uh, in this current daily cycle and gold were to left translate and move down, then silver's probably going to follow it. And, uh, and this would be an opportunity for it to, to go below maybe $20, maybe test that 200 week moving average. Uh, and, and I think that would be a great buying opportunity to accumulate more physical silver. And I, I like physical silver, um, easier to hold on to. You're not as panicky and not as apt to sell at a bottom if you're, you know, holding nice shiny silver bars as opposed to shares in SLV, you know, you open up your account, you see your accounts down, and you tend to panic and sell. Uh, with silver, with physical silver, that's that's not going to happen. It's easy to hold uh, through whatever correction we have. I think that's so true, and it's going back to the basics of like this is real money, right? Are there any other main reasons you prefer physical silver versus the electronic versions like the ETFs? Um, well. I think when we have our next bear market in the stocks, our next recession, um, things could get really bad. And I, I really don't want all of my wealth in the financial system, just in case there are bail-ins or, you know, whatever. <laughs> if the banking system implodes, I, I don't want, I don't want my wealth where the government can get their hands on it. I'd rather uh, have it where I can keep an eye on it. So that, that's another reason. And then also the, the more of us that take physical silver off the market, the harder it's going to be for uh, the banking system to manipulate the metals. No, when it comes to the other markets this year, kind of looks like we're at a, we have a split market right now where some indices are rallying, some are falling. What do you see for the stock market for 2022? And that's really apparent today as we're speaking, the Dow is up and at new highs, the S&P made new highs. Uh, the Russell did not. The, the Nasdaq has not made a new high yet. Um, so it is a split market. And I think that's <clears throat> the volatility is probably going to get worse this year. Um, and, and if this split market keeps up, then I think at some point this spring, we're going to have a really nasty uh, correction. And it usually is just dependent on how far the market stretches to the upside because it, the market kind of works like a pendulum. The further you stretch it one way, then the, uh, the more aggressive and harsh the move can be back in the other direction. So um, we're getting pretty close to 5,000 on the s and if, if we can get a little closer, then I think that'll, that number will kind of pull like a magnet, pulling the market higher. Uh, if we were to get to 5,000, say, over the next month and a half, two months, then I, I think you better be prepared for a really scary, nasty correction uh, later this spring.